What is going on guys? Rodney here with Crypto Bros. Welcome to tonight's video. Tonight we are talking about Hacken. Hacken is a white hat community of hackers that are basically providing a cybersecurity services not only for two individuals but also businesses. We are going to jump into that in just a second. I do want to give credit where credit is due. Shout out to these two guys, Irwin and Colorado Cryptonauts, for the heads up on this uh, this project. They basically were like, hey, dude, check this out. Um, super undervalued. Uh, great call. I spent some time this weekend doing some research on Hacken. Sure enough, love the project. Have yet to purchase any, uh, but we'll talk about that. But seriously, great project. We're going to review it tonight. Before we do that, do, though, I do have two quick things to say. One, thank you so much to all the subscribers. Seriously appreciate every single one of you guys. Appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the love. And number two, since I'm approaching 4,000 subscribers, we're currently we're currently at 38.50. I am doing a $100 Ethereum giveaway just as a, a token of my appreciation to everyone who has been so kind. Uh, again, I'm so humbled. I'll leave some, some details in the description below. Um, but basically, you just leave your Ethereum address down there. Once we hit 4,000 subscribers, it'll probably take me a couple of videos to get up there. I will be giving that away, and I'll choose a video and then do the randomizer. So anyway, let's talk about hacking. The first thing that we are going to look at here is kind of just the current price action. We're currently trading at $2.30 and ranked number 474 on coin market cap. If we look at the actual market cap though, we're literally at an $11 million market cap with a $100,000 24-hour trade volume. If you don't know where to pick this up, you can grab it over at KuCoin. Um, I do have a referral link below. You don't have to use it. Just one tiny way of giving back to the channel. I actually feel like a scumbag even saying that, so we're going to move on. Um, anyway, I think what people are, are going to find most interesting about this uh, project is the total supply and circulating supply. The total supply of tokens is only 5.6 uh, million tokens and a circulating supply of essentially 4.8 million tokens, so very, very um, small in that regard. And, and generally, when we see some of these lower caps, lower circulating supplies, there's usually a pretty large price action in place. And what we're about to see is kind of how this token plays within the the Hacken ecosystem. So again, guys, Hacken is a is a community of white hat hackers, and white hat means like they're doing good. There's white hat and black hat. White hat uh, is is a good thing. So there are essentially kind of defending some of these weaker security processes by using their own technical abilities here. And if we kind of go down. And the services and talk about like the services that they're offering right now and this is how they've kind of built their full ecosystem so the hacken token is a utility token and it's used to kind of pay for whatever services within the hacken hacken ecosystem we'll talk about that in a second and it's also used to kind of reward the workers or the hackers that are working on these individual projects so the first thing we're going to talk about is their hack and proof and it says hack and proof is a decentralized bug bounty platform with an innovative approach to cybersecurity. the core of hack and proof is a is the cooperation between highly qualified ethical hackers and hackers growing client base so essentially this is like their their business facing you know their b2b product and if we go up to the top here you can actually see um it says security excellence for responsible businesses. You know, you can kind of read through here. It talks about some other companies investing money into cybersecurity, um, into bug bounties, stuff like that. But if you go down to this part, man, this website is really taxing. If you go down to this part right here, um, it, it basically says like a client can go to this website, get within the hack and ecosystem, sign up, you know, do a check whether it's on their website or look for a vulnerability or find bugs. They sign up. A, a person from Hacken, which is going to be the researcher, goes through all their stuff, writes a report up, sends it back to the client. You know, they one thing that I find uh, interesting here is that they don't actually pay unless something is found. So if they go through, and, and I may have to double check that, but I'm almost positive I've read that. But if they go through, they don't find anything, or the, there's no bounty on top of these bugs. There's no payout. If they do go through and find an issue or a problem, and this research reporter, you know, this researcher reports it back to whatever business or client they're working for, they'll get a payout here. And you can actually kind of see in these windows, it'll do like this little coin drop thing and that's them you know, replicating the payout to the researcher on the hacking community. Another piece of their business that they have going on here is their cybersecurity 
essentially um, the services that they're offering. Anti-phishing, so it's this 24-hour response aimed at immediate blocking and taking down of fraudulent sites, social accounts, etc. Penetration testing, um, an initial assessment of IT product cybersecurity robustness. Basically, they're like, hey, let we have some of the best hackers in the world. Let's see how strong your security system is. We're going to try to break it, and they'll kind of do that penetration test. I think this one is really, really interesting um, for a couple reasons, and it's the smart contracts audit. And if we look at kind of what's going on, especially we've seen some hacks with some ICOs, we've seen the Ian Bellina hack, all kinds of other kind of shady business out there. Um, actually, that didn't tie to the smart, con uh, yes, it does. It does tie to the smart contracts audit. So we've seen some of these shady businesses, especially around um, some of these ICOs. I'm not sure if anybody remembers the CDT, $7 million, the CoinDash ICO hack, essentially a hacker on their ICO launch, kind of jumped in there, manipulated their system, sent in some uh, fraudulent addresses. So all these buyers were going in and, and trying to buy the CDT token. The hacker put the fake address in, collected all the money from the crowd sale, and then scooted off with it. Uh, and I did, and that's actually the Blocks token now. I did a review on that uh, just a couple days ago. I'll post that at the end of the video, so if you wanna check that out. So anyway, let me get back to my point here. Smart contracts audit. I think in time, this could essentially be the new like standard in terms of ICO procedures. Um, Hacking themselves did an ICO, so they have a good understanding of not only being able to protect the way that these ICOs run, but also provide like this um, sense of stability and security, not only for the ICO company themselves, but also you know a person like myself or somebody else investing into an ICO. So again, if they can kind of implement this smart contracts audit, this could be the new standard among you know ICOs coming to the market. And then the last one we kind of talked about is their um, their bug bounty. This is a really interesting concept as well. Like these guys are just very deep in the space and I'm surprised that the value of their current token is so low, especially because it seems so far to have a pretty good um, community behind it. But this is their uh, crypto exchange ranks and they're doing, and you guys can actually scroll through this. This is pretty in depth, um, talks about their project, what they have going on here, but essentially they're gonna be auditing some of these um, some of these uh, crypto exchanges in, in, in 24 seven operating, looking at all these different potential problems in terms of liquidity or any type of manipulation or things going on there. So we can see here, if I just kind of click on this one, I don't think this is live by any means. I'm not positive on this, but they have this rank, um, you know, Binance, OKCoin, Bitfinex, and they're, they're constantly monitoring that. So you know, as a client, you can go on there and see what your best chances are of having a safe and secure crypto exchange. So super interesting part there. I did actually, um, you know, moving along here, I wanted to share their their one pager just because it breaks down all of their um, their services, their products, their goals and stuff. So it says what Hacken is. Hacken is a decentralized, custom tailored platform that provides the entire scope of cybersecurity services. The services can be provided both by the global community of white hat hackers as well as um, hackers in house cybersecurity specialists, um, Hackens in house cybersecurity specialists. Hackens' mission is to improve the overall cybersecurity standards around the globe. With this in mind, the community represents a wide range of products in order to effectively meet the customer's demand. And then it just kind of goes through some of the things that we, we had talked about. Hack, um, Hack improve, smart contracts audit, the cybersecurity ex or cyber ex security exchange rating. Man, that's a tongue twister. Their marketplace, everything else. If we go down to their team, actually, I'm gonna flip back to their actual website to do their team review. We're just gonna go through the top three guys, but um, tons of. And you guys can actually check this out. This is actually pretty cool. Their their burning principle for basically how you know their payments uh, work. They do have a burning principle on their token. Pretty interesting. Couple articles here. One thing you'll notice on that is uh, VeChain launches a bug bounty program through Hacken Proof. And I think you know one of the competitive advantages that Hacken has is that. Um, they're, they're not only working for the crypto space, but they built their own ecosystem with their own token um, in the space. And I think that's just gonna provide them with a lot of value uh, long-term. Again, everything said here is in my own personal opinion, but uh, very cool, super impressed so far. So their CEO, 
is one of the top, top executives in Ukraine's military defense industry. As an ACCA, he has worked for Deloitte eight years in accounting and audit and project management. Their chief cybersecurity officer specializes in cybersecurity training for various government institutions in Ukraine. He is the CEO of Project Master and co-founder of Hackett Conference. Um, their uh, business development director has a PhD in high energy physics from uh, DESY Hamburg. He is an author of 22 scientific papers um, in the field and is the CEO of Information Security Group. Sorry, guys, that font is really small. And then their last uh, little top dog over here. Um, and actually, they have the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's party. No, no, party business, party, party business. Anyway, um, and, and the, sorry, that was terrible. I just ruined the whole video by doing that. Um, and then it says the, uh, the, our last guy here is highly qualified as cybersecurity expert with 13 years of success in the industry. He is a certified expert in several areas and has more than 10 certifications of confidence. His role at Hacken is to provide technology leadership in developing, integrating, and supporting the platform. So very cool things um, overall here, especially with their team. All the links will be posted below, even this um, one on the CDT hack, even though this is uh, qu from quite a while ago. Last but not least, uh, super important point, whether you love him or hate him, uh, John McAfee is an advisor on this um, project here. Very first paragraph, just so everyone knows. Uh, McAfee, who works as a product designer for uh, a product designer for management capital investments, will join Ukraine-based project as an investor in exchange for 10% stake in the venture is understood. And it just kind of goes through and talks about him. You know, obviously everybody knows McAfee not only for cryptocurrency, but also in the um, cybersecurity space. Moving on, just one quick ICO review. There are actually quite a few of them on here. So ICO Bench gave him a 4.0 from 11, um, uh, 11 experts. Benchy gave them a 4.1 on their um, ICO profile. 7 million raised in the ICO itself. And I love to see how low that number is because I think a lot of these newer ICOs are, are coming out and really asking for just maybe a little too much money when we start seeing that 30, 40 million dollars. I, again, I could be wrong on that, but um, you know, just an opinion of mine. Last but not least, flipping over to their community, under 10,000 followers on Twitter and um, even lower here on uh, on Telegram, you know, under 5K, 4,700. But overall, guys, you know, I'm always hesitant to use the word undervalued just because of how it can be considered. But based on what these guys are doing, especially with some of these um, services that they're offering, not only for just regular businesses, but in the crypto space, I think there's a lot of potential here. And with a market cap at essentially $11 million, there is some room to grow. Um, I haven't made any purchases recently, but this could be one for me. Again, nothing I have said here is financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. None of those things at all, just sharing my opinion. That being said, we will wrap up tonight's video. If you didn't notice, I got a mic. Look at that, I'm getting a little technological. I got a light back there, I'm trying to really bring up the quality of this channel. And again, guys, as a reminder, if you want to get in, in on this $100 giveaway, a gift from me to you, because I appreciate you, all you have to do is leave your Ethereum address below, um, like the channel and subscribe. I'll leave the directions in the comments down there so you guys can check it out. But man, just wanted to say thank you guys. Have a great night and I will catch you guys later.